No, but what about crypto? Does that ever become a, a an actual means of transacting? Yeah. It, it does still. Uh, it was and I said crypto. Am I allowed to say crypto? I hope yeah, no, I'm allowed, allowed to, to say, say crypto. crypto. Can I bring it up? I would really like Bloomberg to take this article that, that I wrote for them in 2013 out of their paywall. But basically, you know, my view at the time, which I've held since today, I've been changed, is that everybody should probably have 1% of their assets in Bitcoin in, specifically. Or crypto. Yeah, crypto. Um, I still believe that today. And I think it is just a fantastic hedge. So if you go back to the conversation this morning, when you see the amount of leverage the financial industry is running and you think about all these dislocations and all these exogenous things that are happening that you can't predict, there's a lot of risk to the downside. And it would be great that an, an average individual citizen of any country in the world has an uncorrelated hedge. And I've said this repeatedly ad mm. nauseum on this show. Every financial instrument is correlated. But Buffett, it's all not, fake, but, except Bitcoin, but Chimot, which is fundamentally an uncorrelated, uncorrelated hedge that, that Warren Buffett says has zero value, zero in here in value, I, I, unless I, someone pays more I for it. I think he's an exceptional uh, person. I've learned an enormous amount, both from afar right. and the few interactions I've had with him. He is completely wrong shouldn't and outdated the price, on this. Shouldn't the price have gone up during this coronavirus during safe situation? Haven. Um, it went down. Like gold. If it was really digital gold. I, I think that you have to look more at volumes. Uh, these are not happening. necessarily event-driven strategies, meaning you don't, you don't you want to... You just called it digital gold. No, he I didn't. didn't say that. No, he didn't. Uh, that, I didn't, that's, I didn't the, say that's the, that's the that's what, what people, people say. say. I don't think you buy... I don't think when you, know, you wake up and you see a coronavirus scare in the Dow down to 2,000, you should not be going in and buying Bitcoin. That is an idiotic strategy. I think a reasonable strategy is to say... 1% of my net worth right. should be in something that is completely uncorrelated to the world and how the world works. You quietly and quick, you know, over some number of time, accumulate a position and then you just never look at it again and hope that that insurance under the mattress never has to come due. Right. But if it does, it will protect you because then that thing will be hundreds of thousands or million dollars a coin.